Hi and welcome. So I'm just going to give people a few seconds just to come in, just checking that everything's looking okay. And I think we're all right. So I think we're live and that you can hear me. It's one o'clock. So um, I'm hoping that you're in and that you're watching. So um, I haven't managed to set up the YouTube at the moment. So I'm going to do this as a live recording and then I'm going to upload it onto YouTube later. So sorry if you're watching this on the replay on YouTube. It'll be about half an hour late. All right. I hope you're feeling well. So join me for some standing Pilates today. We're going to start off just with your feet slightly apart. And I want you to think about engaging your pelvic floor muscles. So if you imagine you're desperate for the loo, you're going to squeeze in underneath, closing all exits, closing all passageways. We don't want any urine, any wind, anything to escape. So gently drawing in, not a tight squeeze. So about 30% effort. I want you to think about your breathing. We're breathing into the sides of our ribs. And standing nice and tall. Let's start. Rise up on your toes, a little roll of your shoulders. So keep doing that. Excellent. I can see two of you are in watching, so that's brilliant. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're okay. So let's go up and down on those toes. Rolling your shoulders. Now let's take those arms up. So, of course, you can see me, but I can't actually see you. I just can see that there's two people watching. I don't know who you are, but I think I have a good idea who you are. All right. Hands down by your sides. We're going to have a little lean from side to side. So, just flexing your spine one way and then the other way. All right, let's take a little twist. Arms outstretched, so just turning to look to one side and then the other side. So just mobilizing that spine. Good. Now I want you to bring your hands forward, just rounding the upper back slightly back of hands together, and then open back up, palms open. So let me show you that sideways. We're going to round your upper back, back of your hands touch, open them, palms open. So we're just flexing in the upper spine, extending in the upper spine, warming our upper back. Good. Now take your arm overhead, back to the centre. Change arms, reaching overhead, back to the centre. Good. Arms down by your sides, give them a little roll again. All right, lifting one foot and then the other foot. So you're just treading on the spot. Bring those feet a little closer. Good, now can you lift one knee and then the other knee? So just challenging your balance. Again, at any time today, feel free to hold on to the wall, to sit down, have a drink of water, just to do what you can. All right, we're going to take a leg out at the side this time, one way and then the other way. So you're just transferring that weight from one leg to the other leg. If you can, let's add in our arm. So opposite arm, opposite leg. We're thinking about a nice tall posture though, looking ahead, standing tall. Good. Let's lift that knee forwards again. Hand comes forward, knee comes forward. So warming up that lumbo-pelvic area in your lower back. Lifting your knee nice and high. So let's go slow. Good. 
out at the side. Lovely. Take both arms up at the sides and a twist. Back to the center, we reach arm over to the right and then over to the left, flexing your spine. So now let's think about rolling that spine forwards, tucking your chin, round your shoulders, little bend of your knees, and then roll back up, re-stack that spine. So again, we're going to round those shoulders, tuck your head in, little curl forward, roll back up, re-stack that spine. Rolling down, rolling back up. Let's do one more. Take those arms out again, twist. So moving our spine in all directions. Reaching over to the side, flexing laterally. And then flexing forwards, rolling down your spine, extending back up. And again, let's roll forward, extending back up. One more time. All right, take your feet a little bit wider now. So a squat down and up, just bending your knees. If you need to hold on to something, do so. Good. One more time. Lovely. Now this time, hands in front, one arm opens. Take a twist wider. Change arms, so see if you can look right the way round behind you. And then let's come back to those squats. Arms coming forward. Here we go, lift those hands up, open and twist. Change arms. Bring those feet back in again, and let's start with lifting your knee, lifting one arm. Balancing, taking your arm and leg out at the sides. Good. 
it. Arms lift, reach over to the right, over to the left. One more each way. Take it to a twist. Rolling forwards, rolling back up, and again, let's roll forwards, one more time. And then some squats. So fitness Pilates uses the principles of Pilates, but we do include fitness moves like squats and lunges. Okay, hands in front of you, just opening one arm this time. So see if you can open that chest and twist a little further. One more each way. Good. Now bring your palms up, tuck your elbows in, and just roll those shoulders down. So our dumb waiter exercise. We're just passing the plate from one person to the next person. So rotating in your shoulder, this whole far, um, arm, upper arm is rotating in that shoulder socket. Check you're still you're drawing in pelvic floor underneath. So closing all passageways. Good, now we're gonna do some swimming arms. One arm up, one arm down. Keeping your head lifted and drawing those shoulder blades down your back. So we can add in a little leg tap as well. And then relaxing there. I want you to think about squeezing your glutes, so squeezing your bottom, lifting your leg up behind you. Now again, you may prefer to hold on to this one. And it's okay to have a small lean forward. So let's change legs. Now we're going to take that knee forwards again, just lifting your knee and arm. Okay, this time just lifting your right knee and back down. Lightly touch and lift, so you're keeping all the weight on your standing leg. 
engaging your core as you're lifting your knee. Change legs. So again, lift. Keep that balance on your standing leg. You can tap your foot down each time, but it's just a light tap. All right, now we're going to extend that leg. So either tapping your toe in front or leg lifts and extends. So we're adding on from that knee lift, extending your leg out. Good. How's that balance? Let's change legs. So either tapping your foot forward or leg lift and extend. One more. Good. All right, let's have some roll forwards. Toes pointing forwards, heels back. So you've got a straight edge on the side of your feet. Rolling down that spine. Remember, you can bend your knees. Only go to where it's comfortable for you. And then roll back up. So squeezing in pelvic floor underneath as you're pulling yourself up nice and tall. Rolling down one vertebra at a time. Restacking that spine. Let's come back up to standing. So this time, finding your balance, we're going to lift your leg at the side and then back in. So we've already done this exercise a few times, lifting our arms out at the sides. This time, I want you to lift your arms forwards. So standing tall like a ballerina. And then let's change legs. Again, you can tap the toe on the floor. You can hold on if you need to. Brilliant. All right, we're going to make a little circle now with those hips. So your foot comes forwards out to the side and in. Same leg, forwards, out to the side and in. Either on the floor or foot lifted. Forwards, side and in. So we're just stirring in that hip. And then let's change legs. Bring your foot forward, out to the side and in. Forward, out to the side and in, either on the floor or lifted. Let's do one more. Now this time, roll those shoulders again. That's your option one. Hands on your shoulders, 
option two, and big circles with those arms, option three. However, as you're lifting your arms, try not to let your rib cage lift. So imagine you're pulling your ribs down towards your hips. So engaging your tummy. And again, don't let those shoulders rise. Keep your shoulders down. And then relaxing there. Give him a little shake. <laughs> okay, let's have a little side balance now. So arms out wide. You're going to lean to the side. Tap your toe on the floor. So that's your option one. Obviously, you can hold on as well if you need. Option two, lift your foot. And then if you want more, you just lean more. So hold that balance wherever you can. Keep your head and chest lifted and stretch through your fingers. And then back to the center. So think tension in your tummy, stretch out wide, toe on the floor or leg lifted. And back down again. Well done. We're going to do that once more each time. So leaning to the side. So you should feel those side muscles having to work, your glutes. And then let's change. And then relaxing there, roll those shoulders. Okay, let's come back to the hips again. So this time, toe on the floor, just letting your knee roll out to the side and back to the center. So a little pivot. Now make sure it's only opening in the hip, you're not twisting with your upper body. Harder option. Legs lifted, again, just a small movement out. We're not going all the way out to the side, about 45 degrees. So I think number 11 on the clock. Okay, let's change legs. So start with the toe on the floor, a little pivot. Now imagine you've got a band wrapped around your thighs. So you've got to go slow because you're stretching against resistance. Higher option, leg lifted. And relaxing there. Give those legs and hips a little shake out. So we're going to come back to those feet. Rising up on your toes. Slowly back down this time. So rising up on your toes. Slowly back down. Work in those calves. Spread your toes as you balance. Come up tall. So Pilates involves a bit of flexibility, a bit of balance, a bit of strength. Good, let's do one more. And relaxing there. All right, this time I want you to tap your foot back behind you and in. If you can, transfer that weight back. So you're just rocking the weight back onto your toe, but don't put the heel down. Change legs. 
So just rock the weight back onto your toe. Now we're going to do a similar thing, rocking the weight forwards. So take a step forward and back. Front foot lands flat, but the back foot just rises onto the toes. So engage your core. And let's change legs. Looking good. And relaxing there. So now let's just take a nice big breath in. And out. And again, nice big breath in. And out. Clasp those hands together. Rounding your upper back, push those shoulders back, chuck your chin. Take your hands back, either resting them on your back and just squeezing your elbows back, or if you're able to link those hands, you can lift them up. Now, like you've just got out of bed, big yawn, one arm reaching up, one arm reaching down. Change sides. One arm reaching up, one arm reaching down. Good, let's do one more roll forward. Let that heavy head hang, heavy arms. And as you roll back up, Big circle with your arms, take a breath in and out. Lovely, well done, thank you for joining me today. So I shall uh, be posting this on YouTube in a few seconds. You can watch this again and um, hopefully come and join me next Monday at one o'clock and we'll do some more. So I look forward to seeing you then. If you want to join in with me before then though, check out my website, uh, have a look on Facebook and you can see what other activities I offer and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot. Bye.